Um, so when my boyfriend and I moved in together, he brought his cat Noodle and I decided to take in a kitten that was actually born of a litter in my boyfriend's old living room. <laughs> she was the only all black little deranged kitten and we decided to name her Frog. Um, we decided that name because we were drunk once and we saw a license plate that said ribbit and it had like frog stuff all over it and we were like wouldn't that be funny if we had a cat named frog and now we have to live with that like forever um <laughs> and so uh frog was born out of an unwed unplanned uh, teen cat pregnancy <laughs> and in order to keep her from repeating that fate i was like i'm gonna get her spayed right away this will be great um did it make the appointment soon enough for her not to go into heat two times which was literally horrible for everybody, but especially Noodle, um, because all signs had pointed to Noodle being gay. He's a gay cat. We're like, this is a fact, like it's all good, like that's just the way that things are, but he was getting very mixed signals about how to behave, because Frog was screaming at him for one reason, and then me and my boyfriend were screaming at him for another reason. So everybody was suffering. We were counting down the days to Frog getting spayed. Um, it just so happened that the day that she was getting spayed, I made a haircut appointment. Uh, I didn't uh, make, didn't put two and two together, so I had a very small window from when I could bring Frog home, and then I had to go to my haircut. So I made arrangements with my friend to come and hang out with the cats when I brought them home because they were best friends. I'm like, Noodle is going to dote on Frog. He's going to be all over her. She's going to need her space. So someone needs to come and watch them while I'm gone. So I bring her in from the vet. She has her cute little cone. She's all like groggy and fucked up. And I'm like taking pictures of her being all fucked up. And I turn and Noodle's coming down the stairs. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's not gonna get sexually harassed anymore. This is gonna be so great. Um, I turn my back and I'm like, I'm putting my bag together to leave. I'm texting my friend like, I'm gonna leave in a minute, like come on over. And while my back is turned, I hear these like guttural, bellows like snarls like I've never heard in my life and I'm like what the fuck is going on and I turn around and Noodle is puffed up all the way sideways like big scary cat that you see in like movies like fucking sideways like I'm gonna kill frog and I'm like what the fuck is going on frog is like who what the fuck is happening and noodle is looking at her with intent to kill like ready to go and then he goes after her everybody is screaming i'm doing that thing where like humans like clap at animals to get them to leave each other alone i'm like clapping and screaming and i get him back upstairs i lock him in my bedroom everybody's crying now instead i'm like calling my friend i'm like I'm really fucking sorry like noodle is locked in the room and frog's downstairs and i have to go right now like i'll be right back and i call my boyfriend i'm like you need to come get your fucking boy like he just tried to kill frog like criminal intent like come get him and i go and get my fucking haircut and then we don't get our wholesome reunion for like three weeks while frog is healing we are sleeping in separate rooms with our respective cats because Noodle has intent to commit a felony crime in my home. And we are in the trenches of pet ownership. We are on like Jackson Galaxy forums. He's like this big cat guy. He carries around like a guitar case, like a whole thing. We're on behavioral like cat Reddit forums. We're like, what the fuck do we do? We're on this five step reintroduction program so our cats won't fucking kill each other and we have to feed them through a screen door so that they will um, associate each other with food instead of criminal acts of violence. And it turns out that Noodle um, actually can't see very well. And in his little marble-sized, completely smooth brain, he thought, this, this motherfucker came in my house, I don't know what it is, because it's not frog, and it is here to kill me and my entire family. So I have, to, I have to do a preemptive strike to kill it to save my family. And frog is this big in comparison. So now that the cone is off, we are all best friends again, and I found out that I'm actually very allergic to cats, so now I'm in the fight for my life while they get to enjoy themselves.